Hey guys, it's Lewis here. Today I'm doing a conversion on a Baja Warrior. So I'm going from drum brake to hydraulic disc conversion. Um, as you guys know, these come stock with the drum brakes like that. Um, I bought this frame without the drum brake and I've always wanted to do like a hydro conversion. So um, all you need is a hold dozer from Home Depot. This is a um, four and a half inch. Here's the exact size. Um, you're gonna have to set your disc on it. I centered mine up and I'm working on drilling the holes now. And you need a hydro brake. So, um, truly really about it, it's super simple. The hardest thing for people is the adapter that holds your disc on. So, um, yeah, this is a three millimeter disc and this is the adapter. You're basically gonna take this, put it in there, make sure it's level. So, set the tire flat or the rim flat. Make sure it's level, weld around it. Um, I'm thinking welding a nut um, in the holes that I drilled on the bottom and then welding it here so I don't have to go through with a wrench just to um, tighten it up. So I can just put the bolt straight in and then tighten it up that way. The nut is already welded around there, but um, I'll see what, when I get to it. Um, one more thing to look out for. When you go to weld this, if you have a tire on, make sure you deflate it and do not weld like all around at the same time. So weld a little bit, Wait till it cools down, weld a, weld a little bit again, and then wait till it cools down. That's if you have a tire on. If you don't, that's really no big deal. You can just go ahead and weld all around. Um, and you have to enlarge this hole. So this ID has to be bigger so your axle could fit through. Um, or you can make it bigger, big enough to fit a bearing. I'm not doing that, I'm just making it big enough to um, put an axle through. Because this thing is very thick and it's super hard to cut through. Um, if my step bit can get through it, I'll, I'll try to get it as big as the um, bearing OD, but um, I'll have to see on that. But I'm going to put new bearings in, that way I don't really have to worry about it. And yeah, that's really about it. So, hope this helped. If you guys have any questions, let me know. This is my first time doing it too, so I'm um, not really an expert at it, but giving it a try. Yeah.